Next up, we have Ms. Su Hong from UNODC. Uh, she is associate expert uh, supporting youth mainstreaming and drug use prevention through youth initiative. She also recently began her project called Friends in Focus. Uh, she has seven years experience with the Ministry of Government. Her work on narcotics control is very fascinating. Please, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you, Madam Chair, for giving me the floor and also for the invitation to speak today. Um, I'm also very grateful to see the attendance in this room today, despite it being a very early morning session and also the last day of CND. So thank you for sticking around and, and the interest in being with us today. Um, and I, I think I, I also uh, interpret this uh, the presence here as support for uh, young people, in particular strengthening their resilience, as is the title of the side event. Um, but I think that this support should not just stop with, with building resilience in the youth, but also supporting them exert this positive influence upon their peers as well. Um, which actually brings me to um, the, my presentation, which thank you. Um, so at UNRC, uh, we started to promote a, a culture of prevention that is aligned with evidence, uh, with prevention science. And this is when we engage with member states, um, when we work with counterparts in the field, um, and when we also engage with international uh, uh, partners or, or other civil society partners. And I hope that um, some of us here in the room and uh, or many of us are familiar with the international standards on drug use prevention that is shown on the screen here, um, which summarizes the, the science and evidence of what works and what does not work um, in prevention. But then you might ask, why prevention science? Um, and to put it simply, it's because we need prevention that works. And because the resources are not infinite, um, I think we would, most of us would agree that we want to invest resources in, in strategies and activities that, that bring effectiveness to, to the work that we do. Um, but what is also good news is that um, evidence-based prevention strategies are not only um, effective in preventing drug use, they're also prevent, uh, effective in preventing other violence or other risky behaviors as well. And so at UNRC, we've availed family-based um, prevention programs that are available in the public domain. Um, and these are meant to support better family functioning um, so that the child can grow up in a, in a supportive, warm, caring environment where um, he or she has that positive, healthy attachment to their parent and caregivers um, so, that, so that the child can grow up healthy and safe. Um, and so here are the two programs that UNRC um, has developed and is, has availed. And so we've covered the family base. We were, we're targeting the parents and the children but then what about youths? Um, and at UNODC to support youth, um, we operate a youth initiative um, that is meant to uh, support youth in advocacy efforts for, on prevention, um, for them to learn about what is effective prevention and for them to be empowered to also support back within and contribute back within their communities um, and also to support them in mainstream youth perspectives in their sessions such as the CND. Um, and I'll give a little bit more explanation when we get to the slide. Um, and so this um, youth initiative has been operational since uh, 2012. It was initiated as a platform for youth to share um, their experiences, their ideas, their creativities, and to also get support for their own um, prevention uh, uh, activities as well. And so there are two main tracks where we try to support youth. The first is the youth forum, um, and the second is the DPC grants program. And with the youth forum, um, we actually just held it last last week um, on the sidelines of CND. Uh, but the youth forum aims to connect, engage, and empower young people um, within the, the field of drug prevention, um, so that they can better protect the health of themselves, but also their peers. And so we try to support youth in learning um, and understanding um, about what is effective evidence-based prevention. And also, we hope that it it connects them with other young people from other parts of the world who are active, who are interested in prevention work, so that they be can become their own um, support networks and resources as well. Um, and also through the Youth Forum, um, the youth have the opportunity to bring their voices to the global policymaking arena, making arena through um, the drafting of a joint statement that they make together and is delivered during the, the, the plenary of CND. Um, and then just to quickly say that the, the second track that we have is a, a grants program, which, which is a mechanism that can directly fund youth-centered prevention projects in low and middle income countries. 
But then we were thinking, um, because it had become that we had reached that sort of 10 year mark with the youth initiative, and we were thinking of how can we better support youth in being beyond you know, advocates of prevention messaging? How can we provide more pr perhaps practical resources and tools for them to be active and engaged? And so that actually brings us to where we are now, um, where we are developing this, this new peer to peer program for you so that they can become also leaders within um, prevention efforts in their communities. Um, and so before embarking on this journey, we had done a little bit of uh, research, uh, but we found that there were so many um, peer to peer um, programs that were targeting the older adolescent age group, but that were also in the public domain. And so we decided to develop, um, university decided to develop this peer to peer prevention program that is youth focused in the hopes that it would provide the opportunity and also the tool for youth to be more easily and more um, actively engaged in prevention efforts within their homes. And so with this uh, new program, um, it, we really look forward to having and helping youth to be the implementers, the main actors of prevention projects and activities, and to be really be engaged throughout all the whole process. So from the development, the implementation, and also the evaluation. Um, and it really continues to build on the concept of doing things with youth and not just through youth. Um, to have them also be involved in the process as well. And it also uh, builds on the, on the idea of, of having them as the, the transformative power in them and support them in becoming the, um, the change makers in their, in their communities as well. And so this new program is being spearheaded um, under the name of Friends in Focus. Um, it is based on a format of, of cascade trainings of youth, so um, trainings from peers to, the, to their peers or friends. And so here on the screen, you see um, the, the overall phases of the program. Um, on the very left, you have phase one, um, where the master trainer, uh, the, the person in the yellow there, uh, is training um, a group of peer trainers or peer leaders um, on a series of sessions, interactive sessions that, that, that they're meant to then go on to relate to their other friends. And so the peer trainer who is trained, um, that will be the person in red, would then go on to, in phase two um, to gather also a group of peers who are perhaps a little younger than, than the peer trainer. Um, and then they would be training on, on, on delivering these sessions that they were trained on further to their peers. And then it is our hope that through the last phase um, that the trained peers then go on to talk to their friends their, in the, within their, their networks, perhaps in informal settings to further disseminate the prevention messaging and, and the aha moments and the, uh, and the things that resonated with them through the trainings. Um, and so through this uh, intervention of interactive sessions um, to be delivered by young people, um, the program seeks to positively influence um, young people um, with their behaviors, their normative beliefs, their attitudes, their perceptions of risk, as was discussed uh, just a little before, um, and really help them to recognize some of the risk and protective factors that they might be exposed to within their environments, um, in their surroundings. Also learn how to critically think about and reflect about the information that they're exposed to from the media. Also another big thing that comes up is how do you act in situations of pressure, um, which sometimes brought up as a challenge in, in young people. And because finally prevention is about the development in the person and building resilience in the person, um, we hope that through, through this um, sort of uh, peer mechanism, this mentorship guidance approach, um, that the peer leaders will help their fe uh, fellow peers on how to visualize and how to adopt strategies to help them develop, um, not just personally, but, but perhaps also academically, socially, um, to reach their goals. And so currently the program is under development uh, and we are approaching this, um, um, doing this together with a global group of global experts that are obviously um, experts, experts in prevention science, also that have lots of experience in working with youth and for youth. Um, but more importantly, um, because this is a program for youth to be used by youth, um, you know, what's a program or without the youth input. So we also do have an active group of young people who are contributing also to the feedback pro um, process of the, of the program. So we've um, involved them very early on in the development stages to hear their feedback, um, because it is our hope that this program will be understandable, relatable, but also importantly deliverable by young people to their, to their friends. 
Um, and then also I was explaining earlier that um, you know evidence based is aspect is key also to the program. So once a prototype of the program is available, uh, we will be pilot testing it in, in various sites around the world. Um, for now, for this year, we have the plans of pilot testing it in Central Asia and Southeastern Europe. Um, but we hope that, you know, uh, once uh, uh, the Friends of Focus program is, is finalized, materialized, that we do have further interest and, and support um, for pilot testing it in other places as well. Um, so with Friends of Focus, we hope that it will be a tool um, that is helpful for young people um, who are looking for ways to be active in prevention in helping their friends, their, their peers, um, by availing this evidence-based peer-to-peer um, um, -peer package for them um, that is meant to have a multiplier effect within, within the schools and their communities. Um, and here's like a diagram of it, but we feel that the, you know, with, the tool, with the right tools, the right trainings, the resource, and the support, um, youth can contribute to, to a more positive environment for themselves, for their families, for their friends, for their peers, um, through meaningful participation. And actually, this, this reminds me of, of how the youth forum participants of this year, um, when they were addressing the plenary in, in, in the, in the, of CND um, through their draft or statement, they actually ended their statement by saying, if you don't mind uh, that I say that, um, passion moves hearts, support moves hands. We have the passion, the heart, and the hands. So give us a support and change will happen. And so I think that their words very clearly indicates their willingness, also their readiness in being involved in, in, in prevention efforts um, and to be those change makers in their communities. And so just to close out my presentation, um, I think the main takeaways would be that prevention works, um, evidence-based prevention that is, um, and that uh, youth do have a role to play in prevention, just uh, besides being just the end receiver of the program, they can also be, take, be taking part and contributing to the process, to the implementation as well. Um, and for that, it's, it's very important to work together. And here on the right, you have um, the QR code for the new website of Friends in Focus, which is very, very new. Um, we just had it um, up in time for Sandy that I'm very glad about, um, but you will find more information there if you're interested in learning more about, about this program. Uh, that, that would be it from you. Thank you very much for your attention.